Welcome to ThoughtSpot Sync, powered by SQL for HubSpot. Operationalizing analytics with reverse ETL from your data warehouse to the business apps you use every day, like HubSpot. In today's world, most data flows in one direction. Think about it. You have your business apps where you track your customers, products, sales, and more. You send that data via a myriad of APIs and ETL or ELT tools to your data warehouse. And then you build reports or perform some analytics on top of that data and decide what to do next. If you want to take those insights back to your business apps, you create an even messier web of APIs that someone has to build and maintain, creating a number of new challenges. With ThoughtSpot Sync for SQL-based reverse ETL, you can operationalize your analytics and close the loop with ease. Let's look at an example of how this works with HubSpot. Here, we've logged into our ThoughtSpot Sync app. So, let's click into our HubSpot campaign block. Okay, here's our HubSpot block. Over on the right, you can see our data source, a database called Snowflake PMM. In the bulk of the screen, we've already written a few lines of SQL to go into that database and build a list of banking customers with an average balance greater than $50,000. Our destination is HubSpot. And back in the right panel, we've mapped a bunch of parameters from our database to contact fields in HubSpot. Blocks are the fundamental framework for working with the ThoughtSpot Sync app. The four primary components are the SQL, the data source, the destination for our output, and the parameter mapping. Blocks can operate on the results of other blocks, so we can build really complex processes to move data across databases and applications. Now that we've explained everything we see here, let's click the play button to run this block and see how easy it is to push the results of our analysis from the database to HubSpot. So while that's running, we can head over to HubSpot where we currently have zero contacts. And in just a few seconds, back in ThoughtSpot Sync, we can see a preview of our results. Let's switch over to HubSpot again and refresh. And just like that, we see all 172 contacts now in HubSpot. Pretty simple, isn't it? How many times has your marketing team asked you to build a list like this? Here, we've been able to create that list in our database and push it to the app in which the marketers work in a matter of seconds. As a bonus, if you're using ThoughtSpot Modern Analytics Cloud, you can create custom actions to push insights directly from ThoughtSpot to HubSpot via ThoughtSpot Sync. Here's an example of a web app built with ThoughtSpot everywhere. That's ThoughtSpot Sync, powered by SQL for HubSpot, operationalizing analytics for reverse ETL to move data back to the business apps you use every day, like HubSpot.